today's application is pretty simple. Um, I had a customer call and say that they want to be able to detect a, a needle. So something like this. And um, uh, just, just so we're on the same page in terms of the needle size, um, this needle, uh, the diameter on this needle is 0.62 millimeters, right? 0.62. So 0.62 millimeters, and they wanted to be able to detect the presence of this needle. So the first suggestion was to use an optical sensor. And in this case, we're using the SOOE optical sensor. Let me, let me show it to you here. <clears throat> so I'll grab this so it doesn't fall. Uh, so this is the sensor, SOOE. And as you can see, this is an optical sensor. So there, there's a laser, a laser coming out of there on the front and then you have on the top, you have some adjustments. So you have a, a um, like a potentiometer that allows you to make some adjustments that we're gonna discuss here in just a second. And then on the top back, we have some LEDs that will display the current status uh, of what's going on in the sensor. So the first thing that I did well was I wanted to check if we can actually see the needle, right? And what I did was just, okay, just grab this sensor. Let me move this a little bit like that. Grab this sensor and um, and then just pass the needle through it. You'll see, you're, you're probably gonna barely see the, the laser there shine on the, there. You see the laser sh uh, shine on the needle. So, and then at the same time, you can see on the back of the sensor that yellow light or yellow LED coming on that means that something is being detected, right? And right now you can see in the top, I have that like ruler and I'm showing that I'm about four centimeters away, about four centimeters away. Now, if I start moving away from the sensor, I'm not gonna be able to detect it anymore. So I'm gonna come in again at four centimeters. Let me see, so it doesn't detect my hand. So four, let's see. Where is the light? There, okay, there we go. So four centimeters. And then if I come over here, now there's the light. You can barely see it on the needle, uh, but I don't see the sensor, I don't see the signal anymore, right? If I get closer, then I get the signal back. So how do, I, how do we adjust that? Let's say that I wanted to sense over here at seven centimeters. That's why we have this adjustment on the top. So I'm going to turn this clockwise and then you're gonna see that the range is gonna start increasing. So right now it only detects it at four. At five, not really, doesn't work. But if I start adjusting this, it should, st it should uh, start seeing it at five, there we go. So now it sees at five I, and I just turn it a little bit, maybe like a quarter turn. Now I'm gonna move to six you see the light on the needle, right? The light is right there. It's shining the needle right now. So I'm going to adjust this a little bit more. Another, uh, not a quarter turn, I think it was half a quarter. So there, six. And if I go all the way to 10, so there's the light. It doesn't sense it, right? But if I adjust this on the top, keep turning, keep turning. There we go. So now I see it. And the nice thing about this is that it's not gonna detect, so it's gonna detect it at 10 right there, but it's not gonna detect it at five, uh, well, let me see, at five, it still detects it closer. No, it's not gonna detect it uh, when it's far away, right? So 10, it should still work, there it is. And then if I go to 15 or something, it still doesn't work. I mean, the light reaches all the way here. You can see, let me see, where's the light there? The light reaches all the way over here, but it's not detecting it once it's over here until I adjust this. Let's see, where's the light? There it is. So let's see if we can get it all the way that over here. There it is. There's the signal. So now I'm, able, I'm detecting it all the way to 14 easily. 14, there it is. And then let's just finish with 15. So 15, uh, there it is. So 
So around 15 and it's still working. And it's pretty easy to set up. Uh, one thing that I haven't mentioned is that this is an IO link sensor. So you can also commission it over IO link if you wanted to. Um, there's also a, a small, like his little brother, which is this one over here. And this is called S-O-O-D, as in David, instead of the E. And in this case, this is S-O-O-E. Uh, the main difference is that this one is smaller. So you can see the format is, is uh, smaller than this one. So I don't know, not, 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 not half of the size. But um, the other difference is that this one doesn't have IO link, so it does not have IO link. And then this one doesn't have any adjustments. So this one all will only work at a certain distance and that's it, right? So, um, and then this comes with a little uh, a piece of cable there with an M8 connector three pin. And this one comes with just the M8 connector right there. So this is a cable that I'm using. Um, again, pretty easy application just to detect um, a needle, uh, 0.62 millimeter of diameter on the needle. And I can detect it using this laser sensor. All right, so hope you enjoyed the video and um, thanks for watching.